What's going on, my Omi homies? The Akomi Omi token has taken a beating over the last couple weeks. We had that Comic Con uh, FUD, and we never quite recovered. In this video, I'm going to give you a little news, and then I'm going to give you my end of the year price prediction for the Omi token. So, like and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you stay until the end of the video. There's a lot to go over. The Yakomi team has been hinting at some big things to come over the next month. There's no drop or AMA this week, but they dropped this tweet yesterday saying your patience will be rewarded. They also delivered a message saying they're cooking up some big things behind the scenes and August will be a massive month. One of those things is the news that Omi will be listed on two new exchanges this year. That of course is a really good thing. The more accessible the token is, the more volume we'll get. It increases the potential for new buyers to get into the space and to buy more Omi. So we'll see what they have up their sleeve over the next four months. I'm sure they're preparing big things for the end of the year with the Marvel drop and the uh, VVverse launch and who knows, maybe we'll get some uh, new license announcements. So now let's get into the fun stuff. The fun part of investing is imagining where a stock or a crypto can go. Uh, let me start by saying that no one knows what's going to happen. This is all speculation, but it's fun. So what I'm going to do is go through three different scenarios for an end of the year price target. I'm going to give you a bear case scenario, a base case scenario, and a bull case scenario. When you're investing, it's important to be ready for anything and it's important to always have a plan. If you only think about your investment going to the moon, you're likely to be blindsided when the price drops. Things rarely go straight up. There are a lot of ups and downs throughout a market cycle, and so we need to have patience. So if you only expect something to go up and then it drops again, like I said, you'll be blindsided and then you're likely to be shell-shocked. And when you're shell-shocked, you're likely to react emotionally and make a bad decision. So we need to consider what could possibly go wrong so that in the event it does go wrong, we're prepared. We have a plan and we can react accordingly and not react emotionally. All right, so with that being said, let's go through the bear case scenario for the end of year 2021. And again, this is not what I think is going to happen. I'll tell you what I think is gonna happen at the end of the video, but in preparing for all outcomes, let's look at the bear case scenario. All right, so these are the things that I think could lead Omi to ending the year in a bad way. If Bitcoin underperforms, fails to make a new all-time high, and we enter the quote-unquote crypto winter, that would cause a sell-off in small altcoins, although Omi isn't attached to Bitcoin as other altcoins are, um, it would still have an effect on its price. If VVverse is delayed or under delivers, if a lot of people find it difficult to make the transfer from GoChain to Immutable, when that time comes, that could cause downward pressure. People might then, you know, lose patience with the project and sell off. If the NFT market bottoms out, and of course, if there is a black swan event like we had with the pandemic, let's say the Delta variant uh, shuts down the economy somehow, or another macroeconomic event occurs uh, like, you know, inflation causes a recession, uh, something like this. If one or a combination of these events were to occur, I can see OMI ending the year at 0.001 or potentially lower in a worst case scenario. Now, if that bear case played out and nothing fundamentally changed with uh, the Ecomi project, I'd be buying more. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be mentally prepared and that would be my strategy because I'm a long-term investor and I really don't care what happens by the end of 2021. I'm looking at 2025, 2030. All right. Next, let's look at a base case scenario, not too bearish, not too bullish, 
crabbish, moving sideways. It would sound a little weird if I called it a crab case, so I'll stick with the base case scenario. And in that scenario, you'd have Bitcoin in the crypto market mostly going sideways. Maybe Bitcoin settles in the $50,000 range. Doesn't quite make that all-time high. Maybe the Ethereum updates are delayed or Cardano doesn't meet its deadlines. But as I'm recording this, I do see an update that the Ethereum hard fork is scheduled for next week. Let's say the VVverse is uh, released, but it fails to pick up too much traction is overshadowed by other projects. Maybe the Marvel drop gives us a temporary boost, but then we slip back down again. So these are all things that could play out in a base case scenario. And in that event, I think that we finish the year around where we are now, slightly higher at maybe 0.003 to 0.005, you know, somewhere in that range. All right, now let's look at the fun one. Let's take a look at a bull case scenario, right? In a bull case scenario, Bitcoin and the crypto market go on another run. The major coins hit all-time highs, leading smaller altcoins going nuts. Let's say the VVverse comes out, is super impressive, gains adoption. Marvel gives us a nice boost. There's another major licensing addition on the same level as Marvel. Let's say, you know, NFTs and metaverses go on a run. In that case, I see a new all-time high for OMI by the end of the year, possibly getting as high as five cents. You know, ridiculous numbers like a dollar. I think that's, we're way, it's way off from a dollar. I do think five cents is within range. Still not an easy target, but it's within range. That would give you a 25X from where we're at now. So now, which of these scenarios do I expect to play out? This is not financial advice. No one knows what will happen. All we can do is speculate. But if I had to pick one of these scenarios, I would say that I think it will be a combination between a base case scenario and the bull case scenario. And I'll tell you why I think that, and then I'll give you my end of year price prediction. I believe that crypto is not done yet and that Bitcoin will rip some more this year and capture a new all-time high. I see Ethereum going on a run, Cardano, and I think a lot of the small altcoins are going to follow suit. I think there are just too many catalysts coming up for crypto and the market's going to run. I think that the transfer from GoChain to Immutable will confuse some people and create some short-term volatility. I believe that VVverse will get released and it will be impressive and metaverses in general will start to take off. I'm not sure how much traction VVverse will gain off its release this year. I think it might take some time to take off, but slowly everywhere I look, I'm starting to hear people talk about metaverses. And so I think this is the next wave that's going to come and Omi token will benefit greatly from it. I think the Marvel drop will create a nice little boost, but the rollout may be slow and people will be left wanting more. And I don't anticipate a, a big drop on the level of Marvel coming by the end of the year. If it happens, great, but I'm not going to expect that. All right, with that being said, I do think that we'll see a new all-time high this year I think we'll get past one penny and maybe hit two cents, maybe even three cents, but then ultimately I think we'll fall back and settle in at around one penny. And then one penny will form a new level of support. So those are my thoughts. I'm optimistic, but I'm not overly optimistic. I don't expect this thing to run up to five cents this year. You have to have patience. If it dropped to, you know, 0 0.001 that'd be fine too because then I could load up some more because again I'm in this for the long term so there you have it my 2021 prediction I am bullish I'd love to hear your predictions and thoughts drop a comment below and let me know what you think will happen by the end of the year see you next time